More than a hundred years ago, standing high above the most magnificent river canyon on Earth, one of America's greatest presidents, Teddy Roosevelt, stood at the edge of the Grand Canyon, fell in love with the place, and spoke to you, the future. The Grand Canyon in Arizona is a natural wonder which, so far as I know, is absolutely unparalleled throughout the rest of the world. I want to ask you to do one thing in connection with it, in your own interest, and in the interest of the country, to keep this great wonder of nature as it now is. I hope you will not have a building of any kind, not a summer cottage, a hotel, or anything else to mar the wonderful grandeur, the sublimity, the great loneliness and beauty of the canyon. Leave it as it is. You cannot improve upon it. The ages have been at work on it, and man can only mar it. What you can do is keep it for your children, your children's children, and for all who come after you, as one of the great sights which every American, if he can travel at all, should see. I am not an amusement park. I am not a casino. I am the Grand Canyon. Thanks to Roosevelt, I do not belong to the developers, the industrialists. I belong to you. I belong to the people who have known me since the dawn of time, but only if I am allowed to remain pristine. I am America's open-aired cathedral. I am the world's natural Sistine Chapel. But I am about to be chopped into pieces and auctioned off to the highest bidder. On my plateaus in the north, mines claw for my minerals. Above my springs to the south, investors want to build more, tapping my freshwater springs. In my vistas to the west, helicopters fill the skies from dawn to dusk. And along my border to the east, developers have dreams of a cable car carrying 10,000 a day to my sacred confluence. I am surrounded on all sides. Above and below by those determined to transform my beauty into cash. I am the most endangered river in America. I am the Colorado River in the Grand Canyon. And I am not for sale. <laughs>